Hello, second grade, and welcome to a main lesson drawing. Today, we're going to work on page four in our book. This is an exciting page. We open up our books. We have our title page for the King of Ireland's Son. We have our first drawing page with the King of Ireland's Son his steed and his hound and his falcon and uh, I'm sorry not his falcon his hawk and the enchanter of the black backlands we have our first writing page cards the prince played as the animal stayed and watched as he weighed what to ask for and today we're going to start on this drawing And what scene is this? This is where the King of Ireland's son is looking for Fidelma when she is wearing her swan skin. So here is Fidelma, and we know it's Fidelma because of the green scarf. Lahin, the Eagle Emperor, told the King of Ireland's scar uh, Ireland's son to look for the swan that had a green scarf around her neck. And here is maybe Apha or Gilveen. It's kind of hard to tell when they're wearing swan skins. We have lots of trees by the lake. We have mountains in the background. So let's get started. What do you think is the first thing we're going to do when we start this? If you said to draw a border with your green block crayon, you are correct. So in my blank book here, I'm going to grab my green block crayon and starting at the top, using Papa Bear, I'm going to make a border going across, down, across, and down. Ta-da! There's my green border. It's not very dark right now, but that's okay. I can go back later and I can make it darker. The next thing that I'm going to add is my lake. And so I'm going to take one of my blue crayons I could use Prussian blue or ultramarine blue and make my lake. I'm going to use Prussian blue right now. It has kind of a this nice greenish blue color, but you could use ultramarine too. And I'm going to start my lake. Now that my lake is done, what am I going to do next? Hmm. Well, there's three characters in the lake. The three swans. And there's the King of Ireland's son. So let's start drawing our people, our characters. And we're going to start first with the swans. And to show you how to make a basic swan, I thought I would show you really quickly on another sheet of paper how I would do this. Swans have these long, beautiful, graceful necks. So I'm going to start by making a shape. And it's actually going to be in the shape of a number two. Now that I've made my number two, I'm going to show you how we will turn this into a swan. We'll use our block crayon and we're going to make the swan's long neck coming down.
and then she keeps going all the way you know what I'm gonna tape my paper maybe it'll stop moving around then yay tape to save the day I'm going to start making her body and if we look where the two is we're going to connect it down and look at that it's a basic swan shape now our swan is missing a couple of things it's missing tail feathers most definitely missing a beak uh, that is not an awesome beak And it's missing an eye. That'll make it more swan-like. Swan now, that beak is a little bit big. Uh, if I could go back, I would actually make it Mm, about that much smaller okay so on my paper I'm going to start making my swans I'm going to use my stick crayon and I'm going to draw my first swan And then I'll fill her in. I'm going to draw another swan up here. And then I'll draw one swan down here that's maybe coming out of the water and almost ready to get back into her human form. And leave the lake. So to finish up my swans, I'm going to do their beaks. I'm going to color them in. And I'm going to give this one some feet because she's coming out of the lake. And I'm going to pause the video to finish filling in my swans. Okay guys, I've finished my swans. I've put on beaks and eyes and I've filled them in. Oops, I forgot one thing. I forgot to put a green scarf on Fidelma. All right, now Fidelma has her green scarf. The next thing I'm going to do before I fill in the rest of the background is I'm going to draw the King of Ireland's son. And I'm going to draw him over here. He's kind of hiding in the trees. He's looking out for Fidelma. And so I'm going to start by using my golden yellow block crayon and 
This is my golden yellow block crayon. It's, it's pretty worn down. Um, I've used it a lot. And I'm going to make his head. 